Kids need computers now more than ever. And before you say kids have changed, we have to recognize the world has changed around them. Kids are becoming the next YouTube sensations, playwrights, and two girls just found a new proof to the Pythagorean theorem. So with this bit of news, how would you choose a computer for your child today? Let's find out on DIY in 5. Hey everyone, my name's Trisha and you're watching DIY in 5. The show where we make tech simple enough that you can do it yourself in five minutes or less. Computer shopping can be fun. However, when shopping for children, your fun could wane as the hassle of trying to predict what your little one will need bubbles to the surface. Just trying to balance school requirements with the child's personal wants can be a nightmare. The good news is that we at Kingston are here to help. We'll go over some common kid-friendly configurations you may want to look for and also help you understand some of the related jargon. Again, we want you to be ready to not only choose a computer for your child, but choose the appropriate one. We got you. Nowadays, you can break down kids into three categories when it comes to PCs. Gamers, students, and creators. Kids' dynamics have radically changed, and the PCs that you choose have as well. Please note that although we can break kids down into three categories, there will be some overlap. Remember, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, so although your son's or daughter's current PC may handle all of their schoolwork, it's understandable they could approach you with a request to also play games. While most parents probably visualize their kids staring at the TV with their game console, some children may choose to play games on PC. The good news, as a parent, you at least have a target to go after. As a starting point, find out what game genre and specific games they would like to play on PC. This is literally invaluable info because each game has a recommended GPU, CPU, RAM, and hard drive spec. Also, since they're gaming, you should immediately say to yourself, they will need a dedicated GPU. Purchase the GPU with the highest specs recommended by the games that you researched. You can generally find this by checking the game developer's website for what they recommend. If you can, try to purchase one that is just a tad higher specification for headroom. We also recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM minimum, but suggest gamers choose 32 gigabytes of RAM or more if possible. It's what we choose for ourselves. The more RAM, the faster a computer can perform complex tasks, like running games. We also recommend a minimum SSD size of 512 gigabytes because you'll need a place to store all those game files. When looking for a student PC, it's actually easier than you think. First, check with the school to see what operating system, or OS, is recommended. The reason why this is the first thing to check is that there may be some specific software that only works with a PC or a Mac that is required. If nothing's required, an inexpensive Windows laptop or Chromebook are more than capable of providing your child with the ability to get their work done. Most of the time, the student is required to log into a specific website and everything is done in the cloud, which makes things easy. However, if this is not the case and there are other requirements, you should choose the machine that will enable your child to use all curriculum required software. But again, it will depend on the school. In the case of a PC, it's simple. We just configured a gaming PC before. You would change the RAM back down to the recommended 16 gigabytes. You would check to see if a cheaper SSD is available with less storage. Finally, you would switch to an integrated graphics solution. No hardcore GPU required unless your student requires 3D modeling software or something like that. Again, check with your school. For Mac, this is where it gets fun. A Mac Mini configured with the M2 chip and 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage is cost-effective and perfect for students. Just add a monitor, mouse, and keyboard. Next, let's talk kids who are creators, photographers, videographers, the up-and-coming YouTuber Twitch streamer. In this case, you'll want a computer that can handle a bit more heavy lifting in terms of editing and streaming. This means Chromebooks are no longer an option. If you go the PC route, it's simple. You mirror what the gamer did, but add in a bit of extra storage and memory. So the 512 gigabyte SSD that we recommended for the gamers will immediately go to one terabyte for the creator to store all their creations, whether they be photo, video, etc. Also, we recommend a minimum of 32 gigabytes of RAM for photo or video editing or game streaming, especially if your child will be using the computer to run the game and record or stream at the same time. The dedicated GPU can stay and will be a benefit in the editing process. On the Mac side of things, we recommend that same Mac Mini, but you'll want to get that 32 gigabyte RAM model now for photo and especially video editing. The rendering process will be fine at eight gigabytes, but working with the video editor timeline will be painful. So we recommend 32 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte hard drive with an M2 processor. 
following these steps, you can ensure that their creations will become reality without tech getting in the way for at least the next few years. To sum things up, as kids differ in all things, their computer needs differ as well. Gamers will need, at minimum, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of RAM recommended, and a 512 gigabyte SSD with a dedicated GPU. Kids focused on schoolwork exclusively will need either a Chromebook, Mac, or PC. Remember to check with the school for specific software requirements. Finally, the budding artists, video creators, and live streamers of the world will need the gamer setup with even more additional RAM and storage. So shop around, compare specs, read reviews, and don't fret. You got this. Your little one is well on their way to success. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and ring that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and you've been watching DIY in 5.